There are many conspiracy theories pertaining to hidden ancient relics which can be found upon our moon. Conspiracies plague not only the known visit to it, but also the possible past visitation by a now lost civilization. A number of studies, including some here upon our channel, have exposed not only theories but valid proofs to support the hypothesis of ancient ruins not only being present on the moon, but ancient lunar ruins having actually been visited in secret operations by NASA and other space agencies. Not only aware of said sites, but accused of studying them in secret. However, a discovery has been made which has seemingly been a lot more difficult, apparently impossible to keep concealed. Thus, it has been exposed after having been discovered by a group of intellectuals at the Baylor University, featured within a study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. They combined data from NASA's Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory GRAIL, and the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter LRO, after finding a huge blob lurking over a hundred miles beneath the South Pole Itkin Basin. Imagine taking a pile of metal five times larger than the Big Island of Hawaii and burying it underground. That's roughly how much unexpected mass we detected, said Peter B. James, assistant professor of planetary geophysics at Baylor University. The basin near the bottom of our sole natural satellite is an oval-shaped crater several miles deep and up to 1,242 miles wide, the largest found upon the Moon. Located upon the Moon's far side, also known as the dark side, it never faces the Earth, permanently concealed from the world, it's an ideal place for future investigation by secretive agencies, as the far side would make an ideal location for any base development that one wished to keep hidden from the world. However, the metal object, which is of an incredible size, is yet to be identified, and if it has been found already by secret intelligence upon Earth, it has until now remained unmentioned and as far as anyone knows, unstudied. One of the explanations of this extra mass is that the metal from the asteroid that formed the crater is still embedded in the moon's mantle, said James, adding that the crater is believed to be 4 billion years old, almost as old as Earth itself. This means that if this was indeed left by a craft, the beings who made it would now, if still in existence, be unimaginably more advanced than the modern man of Earth, and could, in all possibility, still be visiting our solar system. Was this crater created by a metallic craft? If so, who were these beings? Were they interdimensional or merely interstellar travelers? It is an anomaly, like many others within our solar system, which we find highly compelling. Since man landed on the moon, countless conspiracy theories have surfaced all over the web, some so virulent they spread like a virus, seeping into many areas of the media. Some of these theories, predictably, hold more water than others. Some claim we never went to the moon, this regardless of the proof that has continued to surface over the years. NASA claims to have lost the telemetry from the moon landings also. The motive behind this claim is unclear. Yet no matter how unlikely, they continue to claim that it has been missing for decades. Conspiracy theorists often overlook the astonishing contributions which NASA has also made to modern society. Yet some theories actually claim a literal polar opposite of moon landing conspiracies. These not only agree that we did indeed land, walk, and even drive on the moon, but claim we have been back in secret and to explore a rather astonishing thing. According to numerous sources, the most compelling of said claims began on YouTube, with the release of some extraordinary CGI footage of a claimed moon landing and the exploration of a simply gigantic alien spacecraft. Due to the moon being so difficult to reach, and the fact that anything which either crashed, landed, or was possibly even abandoned on the moon, even billions of years ago would have been preserved in an incredible condition. In April 2007, 
videos began appearing on YouTube under the username RetireDafB, telling the extraordinary story of a supposed Apollo 20, a secret lunar mission that had discovered the existence of intelligent alien life on the moon. Then, on May 23, 2007, Italian UFOologist Luca Scantaburlo managed to secure an interview with an individual who claimed to be the creator of the channel, a man by the name of William Rutledge, who later claimed to be, in fact, himself a retired secret American astronaut, who at the time was living in Rwanda. Rutledge claimed to be the commander of the Apollo 20 crew and to be the owner of the retired DAFB account. However, the interviewer never met Rutledge in person, as the interview was conducted over Yahoo Messenger. During the interview, however, Rutledge claimed that Apollo 20 was a top-secret mission launched in mid-August 1976 from Vandenberg Air Force Base near Santa Barbara, California. He also claimed that it was conducted jointly by the United States and the former Soviet Union. He also alleged that other missions were made by American astronaut Leona Snyder, a now-established fictitious persona, and former Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, the first human to perform a spacewalk. The purported landing site of the mission was near Gaio Crater, a feature near the much larger Del Porte Crater. Rutledge said the videos show that he and Leonov discovered the remains of an ancient lunar civilization. He also said they brought back artifacts to Earth for study, including a hibernating female humanoid. It is a story which we found highly compelling. What did the Apollo 10 astronauts experience on their legendary transit far beyond Earth contact as they ventured around the dark side of the Moon? Our often illuminated satellite is to our perspective here on Earth seemingly rotating on a fixed axis, thus only one side of the Moon has ever been seen from Earth. Additionally, although known as the dark side, it does indeed receive sunlight. In May 1969, Apollo 10 was the fourth manned mission in the United States Apollo program. It was a real-world or real-space operational training mission, an in-depth research and preparation rehearsal in planning of the eventual moon landing, successfully testing componentry, procedural drills, along with several contingencies for if something went wrong. The mission was completely successful, doing all short of an actual lunar landing. What we find the most enigmatic part of the mission, however, the audio transcripts of what even the astronauts termed alien music was heard by all aboard as they lost contact with Houston as they went behind the moon. I didn't mean to keep it sound outer spacey, didn't it? Did you hear that? That whistling sound? That's what we're talking about, those screams from some... Alien. Supporting the theory of an alien transmission are recent discoveries of pulses leaving our planet from several locations, such as Antarctica, Bosnia, Peru, etc. The perplexing purpose for false doors and so forth. Furthermore, due to the sheer mass of rock that would be between the Earth and the far side, if the Moon is receiving any directed transmissions, it's stationing strategically perfect to not only observe us, but avoid detection. The other cause for the music, a personal hypothesis, is that instead of the static we receive upon our television, residually from the Big Bang, outer of space, especially away from our own statically generating planet, this noise could, we believe, indeed sound like an eerie melody. Additionally, due to redshift and the Doppler effect, sound would warp through vast space-time travel, even from our closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Yet indeed, if of intelligent and extraterrestrial origin, it would be received as pulse of sound having moments of silence distorted from interstellar travel. However, who knows what advanced technological composition could be possible? The truth is out there, or maybe it's here already. Our moon. A strange thing, don't you think? 
Have you ever gazed upon a full moon and wondered, wondered how it got there? What strange forces could have possibly built it? There are many moons within our solar system, yet few are as strange as ours. No others are known to ring like a bell when struck. No others possess such luminosity as our moon. In the 1970s, Michael Vassin and Alexander Shcherbakov of what was then the Soviet Academy of Sciences created a thesis that the moon is actually the remnants of a very ancient spaceship created by, as yet, unknown civilization. The article was entitled, Is the Moon the Creation of Alien Intelligence? and was published in Sputnik, the Soviet equivalent of Reader's Digest. The suggestion of a hollow moon first appeared in science fiction when H.G. Wells wrote about a hollow moon in his 1901 book, The First Men in the Moon. Michael Vassin and Alexander Shcherbakov's hypothesis is based on the fact that large lunar craters, generally assumed to be formed from massive meteor impacts, are generally too shallow for scars made upon an organic body, and can have flat or even convex bottoms. They propose that small meteors are making cup-shaped depressions in the rocky surface of the moon, while the larger meteors are drilling through a rocky upper layer, hitting an armored hull underneath. Does George Lucas know something we don't? It seems he couldn't resist adding just one crater. The authors referenced earlier speculations by astrophysicist Iosif Shklovsky, who suggested that the Martian moon Phobos was an artificial satellite and hollow. Interestingly, Phobos has been claimed to appear to be hollow by numerous astronomers, who have stated that it appears to have an opening on one side, making it, in a sense, similar in shape to an empty shell. Phobos's orbit is also a complete mystery. Many who have researched it claim that it should have crashed into the surface of Mars many moons ago. Between 1972 and 1977, seismometers installed on our moon by the Apollo missions recorded strange moonquakes. The moon was described to have been ringing like a bell during some of those quakes. The supportive evidence was then brought to popular attention in March 1970 in an article in Popular Science. When Apollo 12 deliberately crashed the ascent stage of its lunar module into the moon's surface, it was claimed that the moon rang like a bell for an hour, leading to arguments that it must be hollow. Several YouTubers, most notably Crow777, have supposedly recorded what is now known as lunar waves, if confirmed to exist. This may prove there is some form of functioning shield or scanning system being seen working on its surface. The fact that the Moon is less dense than the Earth is also strong supportive evidence that it is indeed hollow.